So you're wondering, should I buy a drill, either as a gift, housewarming gift, shower gift, or a gift for yourself? Should I buy a drill? Should I buy a corded drill, or should I buy a cordless drill? I'm Eddie Field with Field Guide to DIY. Let's dive in. You might be thinking, I'm not a woodworker, I'm not a contractor, I don't need a drill. But for simple jobs like hanging a heavy mirror or hanging a TV, the drill might make or break the job. Don't believe me? Imagine driving a three inch screw into a stud by hand. Whereas with a drill, it's done. So when you're considering buying a drill, there are a few things you need to consider. Do you want the portability of a cordless drill? Or do you want the power and the vroom vroom of a corded drill? There is a trade-off. You have the portability and ease of a cordless drill. You just take it off the charger, slap it back in, you're ready to go. There have been huge advances in the cordless drills. Back in the day, they had nickel cadmium. If you have the option of buying a, a used nickel cadmium, don't. Lithium ion batteries last tons longer than nickel cadmium. With a corded drill, you have more torque, that is, the strength at which the drill chuck spins. What you will find is when you compare head to head, a corded versus a cordless, you're gonna get more torque out of a corded drill. So keep that in mind. Always buy a variable speed drill. That is a drill that increases with the speed as you squeeze the trigger. More and more and more. Therefore, if you need just to go a little bit, you can do it. it. Gives you much more control. The part of the drill where the drill bit goes in, that's called the chuck. These cordless drills have comfort grips. That is, there's no chuck key for you to tighten down on the bit. These drills have a chuck key. Chuck key is no, not chucky, chuck key. The chuck key fits in the teeth on the chuck and tightens it down against the bit. You can see we did the smart thing on this one and attached the chuck key to the cord because sometimes you lose the chuck key. You can also, with your grip, tighten down on the chuck. Put the drill in the forward direction, put your bit in, and as you're holding the bit, hold the chuck. And that once it's snug, that last little bit, grab the chuck and tighten up. To loosen the bit, switch it in reverse and hold the chuck and the bit will pop out. You will develop some serious calluses on your hand though. That's why manufacturers have gotten to the comfort grip plastic. That's also why bit manufacturers have added the hex shank. It helps hold it in the chuck. For drills like this that are hand tight, it helps keep the drill bit from spinning inside the chuck. There are a lot of things that you can do depending on the bit. You can drive in a screw with a screw tip bit. You're probably familiar with the twist bit. You can countersink a screw with a ream bit. You can drill a hole in the door for like a deadbolt with a paddle or spade bit. Or if you're going to drill into concrete with a concrete bit. Or you can make your own cabinets with a Forstner bit. We'll be demonstrating bits in a later video. So you're wondering, should I buy a drill? The answer is definitely yes. It'll save you time and money. Just think of what all you can do around the house. For another important tool tip, click the image on your screen now. 